In this module, I want to walk you through your controls. When you can come to any control within Trust Cloud, there are a couple of features that I want to walk you through today. The first is your control statement, which is in this case, your multi-factor authentication. You'll also have a control description, which says what exactly is that control supposed to do. You'll have a control ID. You will also have a group that owns that control. In addition to the group, you also have a user that is supposed to go ahead and own that control. So this is your control owner. This is the group that owns the control. And here you are now understanding what kind of frequency that particular control has to have. Um, and all of these things together uh, make your control uh, page right here. Your control status is dependent on multiple factors. The first is the test to run, which means have this control being tested for each of the systems where this control needs to be applied. And the second is, is the evidence that needs to be uploaded for each of those system, have those been also uploaded. The test, the control does not pass us till it has both of those things in place. And each of these things can be customizable as well, where in certain cases, maybe you don't need an evidence and you could go ahead and customize saying the evidence is not required in that case. Therefore, the test passes if somebody goes in and approves and says that yes, these controls are in place. So the combination of these two overall provide the effectiveness of that control implementation.